Hello everyone, here is a question based on mole concept. An oxygen cylinder of volume 30 litre has 18.20 moles of oxygen. After some oxygen is withdrawn from the cylinder, its gauge pressure drops to 11 atmospheric pressure at 27 degree Celsius. What is the mass of the oxygen withdrawn from the cylinder is nearly equal to. We have some number of moles initially that is 18.20 and then some moles are withdrawn. Therefore, Ni minus Nw is equal to Nf. We need to figure out the final number of moles. Here what they have asked is mass of the oxygen withdrawn from the cylinder. The final number of moles given in a indirect way through pressure information, but the pressure information is also given in a tricky manner. The gauge pressure drops to 11 atmospheric pressure. Therefore, absolute pressure in this case is equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. Let us understand it this way. Let us say you got a flat tire. It means that the gauge pressure will be 0. That does not mean that the absolute pressure is 0. Absolute pressure will be equal to atmospheric pressure in that case. Therefore, here we have to take the pressure information, the final pressure as 11 plus 1 atm. Therefore, total 12 atm. Now, because universal gas constant value is given, we can assume that PV equal to NRT, ideal gas conditions. Therefore, NF is equal to PFV divided by RT. Temperature is 27 degree Celsius. Therefore, 27 plus 273 and that is equal to 300 K. And then volume is given as 30 liter. Let us convert that into cubic meter because so that for unit cancellation it will be easier. So, 12 times 1 atm pressure is given as 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square 30 times 1 liter is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. Therefore, 30 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube divided by R is 100 divided by 12, it is given in joules per mole per Kelvin. We know that 1 joule is equal to 1 Newton meter. Let us enter it in Newton meter here, so that for unit cancellation it will be easier. So, Newton meter per mole per Kelvin times 300 K. So, Kelvin per Kelvin cancel, meter also we can cancel here. What remains is only per mole and that would become moles. So, 12 when this goes up it will be 144 times we have 10 to the power 5 here we have 10 to the power minus 3 here therefore, that becomes 10 to the power 2 we have 30 here. So, 10 to the power 3 and then 3 3 we can cancel here we have 10 to the power 2 here also 10 to the power 2. So, total 10 to the power 4 when that goes up it will be 10 to the power minus 4 therefore, eventually what will remain is 10 to the power minus 1. So, 144 times 10 to the power minus 1 times 1.01 moles is what we have therefore, this will be equal to 14.4 times 1.01 mole. So, let us multiply that 144101 so 144 0 0 0 again 1 4 4. So, this will be 4 4 5 3 digits after the decimal place. So, 14.544 moles is what we have that is our final number of moles. Therefore, Nw is equal to 18.20 minus 14.54 let us put 1 0 here, 10 minus 4 6, 9 minus 4 5, 11 minus 5 6, 7 minus 4 3. So, 3.656 moles is what we have here.
therefore mass of O2 withdrawn is equal to 3.656 moles times 32 gram per mole because that is the molar mass of O2. So, we will get the information in grams which we need to convert it into kilograms therefore 3656 times 32 2 times 6 12 remaining 1 2 times 5 10 plus 1 11 remaining 1 2 times 6 12 plus 1 so 13 so 3 remaining 1 so 6 plus 1 7 and then 3 times 6 18 remaining 1 3 times 5 15 plus 1 16 remaining 1 3 times 8 plus 1 so 19 so 9 remaining 1 3 times 3 9 plus 1 10 so 2 9 9 6 1 1 so that is what we have here this means that we have the information in grams therefore mass of O2 is equal to 116.992 grams if we convert that into kilograms we have to divide by 1000 therefore 0.116 kg that is the correct answer here we just have to divide this by 1000 so that we can get it in kilograms so option 3 is correct here